speaking of the magnetosphere though oh i came across this story from this podcast called metaphysical mm. don't know how valid it is but he told it and i'm going to tell it because <laughs> i thought it was interesting and weird yeah. involving the ark of the covenant oh nice don't know how valid this story is <laughs> yeah but i'm gonna say it anyways like it is true let's do it wait a second <laughs> Um, so the story goes, the Ark of the Covenant, you know, was, it's lost, yeah. right? People so say bang. it's in Ethiopia. Allegedly. Ethiopia. Some people say it's in Ethiopia, and that's because King Solomon married, um, yeah. what's her face, of Ethiopia, yeah. Queen Sheba. Sheba? Yeah. Right? Sheba. I'm going to go with that. Queen know. Sheba. Yeah. And uh, they had a son, and Solomon loved the son and wanted him to rule over Israel when he passed, he denied, went back to Ethiopia. But when Israel was attacked, he and some Ethiopian, the Ethiopian army, they went to Israel to aid and they took the Ark of the Covenant and supposedly now it's in Ethiopia. Cool. But there's another story to where the, there's a couple of theories. One is that the uh, Ark was buried or a place in a cavern underneath the temple mount yes and then there's another story to where supposedly muhammad the prophet muhammad from ali no okay uh from uh muslims he went found the ark of the covenant brought it back to mecca and buried it wait that's ours yeah. <laughs> hey um can't take that <laughs> But this is where it gets weird. They were building a new mosque in Mecca in like 2015. And they supposedly dug it up. Like they found it without knowing it was there. And as soon as they reached it. They there died. Was, there was a giant sandstorm <gasps> that came blowing in. This crane fell, killed 100 people. Oh my gosh. And then all the people around it said that it looked like a plasma explosion shot into the sky. Oh my gosh. And then shortly after that a connection happened to where uh, Patriarch Creel, who's the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, met with the Pope. And this is the first time the Pope and the Patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church had met in over a thousand years. Okay. So they met. Right after that, a Russian Navy ship came to the port in Saudi Arabia and supposedly grabbed the Ark of the Covenant and straight from the port in Saudi Arabia, the Russian Navy ship went straight to Antarctica. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then when they reached Antarctica, shortly after they got there, Patriarch Creel died. went to Antarctica. Oh. And then he, the purpose was so he could, what was it, um, consecrate a Russian Orthodox church. But the theory is that the Pope knew where the Ark of the Covenant was and teamed up with the Russian Orthodox Church because of the backing of the military and stuff and took the Ark of the Covenant from Mecca and placed it in Saudi Arabia or in uh, Antarctica. What? Those those travel logs, I don't know, like it's not flight path, but whatever you call it for ship, that yeah. stuff's all like confirmed. Yes. It's just we just can't be sure if he actually grabbed it but that is incredibly suspect if yeah those trips actually happened what's the idea of sending it there is it to protect it so yeah there's there's some weird fishiness that because we talked about that one podcast the weird stuff that's happening in the antarctica yeah, yeah. yeah. that one guy talking about making <clears throat> weapons and like all this stuff um but i mean throughout history the ark of the covenant has been viewed as a supernatural weapon mm. you know that's why it's in indiana jones but hitler was actually yeah. actively looking for the ark of the covenant and right. all these ancient relics and so i just found it super interesting that if they did in fact get it and it's in antarctica now with the russians with the russians obviously and teamed up with the, the roman Pope. catholic you know but like antarctica is a um a neutral state you yeah. know so like there's so yeah, what does that mean? So no one, like, there's not one uh, country or anything that possesses it? No one can have a shared over Antarctica. Why not? Don't know. That's See, the weird, that's my thing. That's it's like the, the Rorik Pact kind of stuff. It's like, is there a, 
is there a space where it's like this is safe no one's going to be coming near here every one of all the world leaders like or specific ones will have information yeah and it's all be hosted there and it's like because who this, else who's going to go there and argue it like yeah. You know? yeah well this was after world war ii that it became um a neutral ground because the nazis were trying to build a base camp in antarctica mm. and after world war ii all the nations got together and be like no one has claim to it we all weird. do weird and it's like did the, it's just it's it's weird place to like i don't know there's a lot yeah. of mystery yeah it seems like there's like a lot of anarchy is possible like what if yeah. somebody gets murdered in antarctica who who is their jury yeah who's what's their trial and who's stopping from just overtaking antarctica yeah like, just yeah. like who's just like what's stopping russia from just saying this is ours i think the it would be world war yeah if if anyone threatened to take over antarctica do They're, people care enough about what's going on in antarctica yeah well, apparently they do. If it's like it would cause World War Three, there's something down there. Yeah. So that's how jacked up the world is, is we're like, we're sharing land. And it's like, no, 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 no. Something's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. seriously. That's, that, 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 that is a huge red flag. Name other places. I mean, I guess I'm sure there are, are other places that we do that, but yeah. I can't think of any. I don't know. That's weird. Weird stuff. That's a lot of land and that's a lot of money. Like, I know it's probably, like, it's inhabitable, maybe. I don't know. In the pyramid that's supposedly there. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of weird mystical things around. And these all the ancient stuff trapped lakes, in the ice. Yeah. All, the, all the vegetation that's mm. under this ice. You got mm. narwhals. Those things ain't real. That's like That was like a science experiment that probably just, like, fell out of a lab. And they're like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Where'd a the unicorn flying? whale. Where'd, yeah, where'd the free. swimming unicorn go? It's free. Um, But, yeah. Speaking of narwhals, though. No. We got an ad. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 